Hello and welcome to Patched. I'm your host, Paul James. Today I'm joined by Matto Phillips, the beardless Matto Phillips. Beardless. How's the I air think in it was there? A, I think it was a bad idea. Well, I just wanted to see if I still had a double chin or not. The answer is... <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, it still exists. You've been doing a good job of hiding it all this time. I do. That's what a beard does. I thought it was... Now I just look like I have no face or no chin. It feels weird. <laughs> um... Not one of my greatest decisions, to be honest. I come to think of it. Yeah, look, I'm not. I'm not usually a beard wearer, so I don't have much that oh, I can. Um, beard wearer. Not too much I can share on that one. Well, uh, it's patched updates time, where we discuss all the games we've been playing this past month. And um, well, on, on my end, there's there's not a lot that I can talk about, so I might even just get mine out of the way first before we throw it over to you with your half a dozen plus titles that you can talk about. Um, there's one game that I've been playing in particular, uh, and it was embargoed, and so it's it's kind of consumed, and I've had it for the majority of June, which basically means that's all I've been playing through the majority of June, uh, and that's Final Fantasy 16, the game that uh, millions of people are, like, I mean, you jump on your PlayStation Network and there's just people playing it left, right, and center at the moment. Um, it's It's been huge. Uh, I'm, I mean, my review is already up on the Player 2 website, and people can check that out, and I'll, you know, I'll get the plugs all out of the way. This is... Um, I, don't, I, this, I know you're not really a Final Fantasy person, but I reckon this might be the Final Fantasy for you because it kind of gets into that act, like really action-y, Devil May Cry style thing, which is you know, a bit faster paced. And I wouldn't say I'm not a Final Fantasy person. I think because Final Fantasy, to me, was on the PlayStation for many, many oh, years. Yeah, okay. Going back to 7, because that's when people went bananas back in the day for Final Fantasy 7. And I didn't have a PlayStation. I had a 64. So everyone's talking about Final Fantasy VII, and I'm here playing Banjo Kazooie, or Ocarina of Time. Just to be think. fair, you know those two, two of the best games of all time. So, um, but I totally get it. But yeah, when I saw Final Fantasy XVI, I thought, hmm, maybe I should play the Final Fantasy VII remake because oh, yeah. that is on the PlayStation. Oh, actually, I got it with um that stupid. Was a PlayStation Plus rubbish or whatever it was. Yeah, they gave it away one month. You get your free yeah free game one month. So. I might just get into Final Fantasy VII. I probably do actually like it. Just I just never got around to ever playing the games. Remake's definitely a good, the, good window for people to get the, I played three on the DS. As in you played the third one on the DS? or you Final, Fan, yeah, Final yeah. Fantasy three on the DS. I can't remember a single bit of it. I mean, Final Fantasy really only... really started to hit its straps with kind of the fourth one onwards, so... Oh, I thought you were going to say nine and on woods. I thought, no, oh, yeah. No, no, no. I mean, the pinnacle is nine, but it really only kind of got the peak, going. The peak is nine. They really kind of, I guess, found the formula or really, really identified the formula by the by the fourth entry. So, I mean, not, it's not to say that the others are bad. Um, I think last month it was in the updates where I was talking about how I'd platinumed Final Fantasy 1 and I plan to, you know, try and rattle off plats for hopefully each of the first six. I haven't really had a chance to go back to them because of Final Fantasy 16 and, um, and other sort of games and reviews that I've had to deal with in the last couple of months but um, but yeah I mean 16 is amazing uh, it kind of goes back to that kind of medieval sort of setting um, the storytelling's awesome it's I, I guess for anyone who doesn't mind uh, a bit of kaiju stuff like the big you know uh, what am I looking for like gi- giant monsters your King Kong size your uh, Godzilla size monsters oh, it's Godzilla. Um, you, you've got that sort of scale in terms of some of the some of the big encounters that you have along the way and they're pretty amazing it kind of makes the scale of God of War look pretty small actually some of the stuff that God of War and Ragnarok have done it makes it look pretty small in terms of the scale of the and the size of it um, and even just kind of the just how it kind of assaults the senses a little bit uh, it's I mean in terms of like a, it's a visual treat to to look at um when they're when they're kind of at full full flight like that uh there's there's some technical flaws really small ones in terms of mostly the visuals like uh the the frame rate i think it's i don't think i don't really recall it falling below 30 like there was no oh my god it's chugging but i could see it kind of varying a little bit it was almost like it was trying to push for 60 but couldn't hold up i was gonna say did it have 60 frames a second no, and uh, no I, one's complaining about it. No, I think people have kind of cooled their jets a little bit. I, I'm sure they are. I'm sure there's people complaining, but probably because they, well, who's it? Square Enix that make it yeah. didn't announce it. God, hey, it performs at 30 frames. They're like, here's your game. Could be that. Nothing has been said. Don't ever say how many frames of 
frames per second are in your game because then oh, people Howard. are going to be upset. Pod, um, stop it. So, yeah, it, like it's almost like it's pushing for 60 but can't. So it kind of, I feel like it kind of varies and fluctuates a bit within that kind of 30 to 45 sort of ballpark, I guess. Um, but there, like, there's you've got your performance modes, you've got your visual fidelity modes, so you, you're making sacrifices one way or the other. Um, but I mean, the game looks fantastic no matter what. Uh, put it up on the big screen and, and enjoy it, people. Um, the action, as I said, really, really exciting, and it is that more Devil May Cry sort of combat, so fast action sort of thing rather than turn based or even kind of some sort of hybrid between them, which is what like Final Fantasy VII Remake is, where there's there's loose kind of menu selections and those sort of things, but everything's still happening pretty fast paced around you so um it, it, this is pure action and it's and it's re- it's great so uh i really encourage people to go check out the the review on the website for full thoughts there and um there'll be a review discussion down the line i'm sure yeah that's about it and might, might be worth considering if you play remake and, and enjoy it right so yeah so go. oh no i'll play i'll go i'll give remake a go because it's been on my list for oh God knows how long we came out. Five years ago? No, it was I 2020. Know. It was right at the beginning of the pandemic. Yeah. Oh. To their great credit, they thought... are turning around like part two of this remake trilogy real fast. When you think about it, like that was yeah early 2020. They put out a DLC and the PS5 edition in. I say it was early to mid 2021. And then part two of the remakes slated for the first quarter of next year. So they're smashing it. Um. And I guess it kind of helps that there's like a bare bones of the story already there. They're obviously going, they're going off in their own directions, which will be, it'll be actually a really interesting thing to hear your perspective if you do play Remake, because it's not the purest of remakes. Um, not even just in terms of the action, but like in terms of... I know, it's not a, I know it's technically not a remake, it's just a redo, almost, well, I know. They go, like, they follow the plot for ages, and then it kind of detours, and you're like, what? And I'd imagine hey. what the perspective is for someone who actually doesn't know how the story is meant to go. So... Well, I'm sure we'll discuss that at some point in the future. Um, beyond beyond Final Fantasy, though, like I've really I've dabbled in things, uh, and it's been the Final Fantasy 16 review that's kind of prevented me from really diving deep into some of them. So I've been playing uh, Diablo 4 a little bit, but I've probably only put an hour or two into that. I don't know if you've spent more time playing it at all, or any time. I've spent it. zero. I've spent zero time on it. I'll have a lot more to say about Diablo next month, I'm sure. Uh, Park Beyond. I which still, is like a role I still have um, Diablo three. I like got PS four, and oh, I've never yeah. played it. And we, we said one day, "Go, oh, we, we should all play it together." And, and of we course, never did. Never uh, did. Park Beyond, which is like a roller coaster tycoon like thing. Um, Bandai Namco sent that one over, so shout out to them. Jason's doing a review, but I'm doing some uh, player two plays, and and I'll probably join him for a re- review discussion as well. Um, and really enjoying my time with that so far, but I'm pretty pretty early stages. Um, I like making roller coasters. It's fun. Uh, and otherwise, that's it. There's been a lot of demos and stuff that I've been playing for Steam Next Fest, but uh, not not full releases, and they've got their own dedicated video, so I'd encourage people to go check them out since you're already on the YouTube channel, hopefully. Um, and if you're on the podcast feed, we'll jump across the YouTube channel. So, yeah, that's, that's about it for me. Um, there'll be a lot more to say next month, I think. Uh, it's also kind of a quietish month. Like, Pikmin 4 is absolutely hey, on my radar. God. Exoprimal... Uh, from Capcom might be pretty good, but otherwise oh, that's more that the or less. Dinosaur, is that the dinosaur one? Yeah, the Jurassic Park, or I don't know what you would call it. Yeah, whatever we call it, I don't know. With but... guns, so Turok, modern day yeah. Turok. In Pikmin Cod. Four come out next month. Yeah, Pikmin Four is out, thought... out in July. Ooh. So, um... then I got crazy about the whole Nintendo Direct saying one and two are available right now. And I was... I was eating my cereal at the time and I spat it out. I was like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, one and but two. But then there's also the Metroid Prime thing. But then the uh, the physical retails in September. Uh, one, uh, and yeah, September twenty second. I'm looking. Oh, it's a tough call. Do I wait for the physical copy or buy digital? That's fair. It's tough, but it's so far away. And the worst part is, it's in September, right in the smack bang in the middle of super duper two months of gaming fun. Yeah, it's almost like or, do you, or do pain. You... Buy it digitally now and actually ensure that you play it, or do you wait till September to get your hard copy that you want, but then run the risk of actually not playing the game? I'll take the second option. Yeah. Oh, I've, I've got no problem with that whatsoever. Well, I've been and played, you know, Pikmin one, and I think you're the same. Played Pikmin one and two back in the day, so not two. I played oh, one, play two. not two. I never got to play two. I played one, three, 
Because I just skipped two. I just never got a chance three to play was, it. If it released it in a year that wasn't the same year as The Last of Us, it would have been one of the games of the year that year. But, um, anyway. What a shame. Shame for Pikmin 3. But uh, yeah, that's so that's that's me anyway. Um, over to you. What have you been playing? Oh, well, I've been playing some demos that we saw at whatever your summer game yeah. fest or your what other whatever well actually two well the first one i'll just get off is ghost trick i there was a demo for that that was on the switch so i gave that a go and oh man i don't know if i really like it or not it's just so much talking not really it's just it's it's, it's by the I think it's the same person that does the Professor Layton, not Professor Layton games, Phoenix, Phoenix Wright. And then there's a trilogy oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. coming in too. But it's just this, all I want to do is just do the game and it's just dialogue keep coming up and just want, just want it to go away. It's like, I just wanted to play the game, please. But it is a demo, so maybe there's a chance when you actually do play the game that dialogue just goes away because it's a really, really annoyed. And it, but you, maybe if yeah. I play it a little bit more, it might go away. Because it might be just part of the story, this and that. I just don't care. I just want to play the ghosts. damn game. Yeah. But that's the first one. That's yeah. I don't. Yeah, I don't really know too much about Ghost Trick to be honest. So. I think it's just uh, the way I look at it, it's just how to stop a murder while you're already dead. There's... Oh yeah, right. Okay. It's, it's just one of those confusing things. You scratch your head and go, oh, "I just don't make no sense." Fair. And then we go on to another demo, which. There is, I don't know when, I have done a player two plays for it because it's part of... Yeah, people will expect to see this demo before three. before this episode goes live. It is a uh, old Pinocchio boy, which I can't make sense of because, like we said, it's the whole public domain thing and you yeah. just scratch your head at it and go, make no sense. It is lies of P and there is no dialogue to tell lies and get a big nose and I'm disappointed by that. But you are a real boy. You are a real boy. Just like that little Pokedokio in Shrek. You always want to be a real boy. Fair enough. Um, but there's also the other problem is it is a Souls type game, which I am rubbish at. There's no difficulty and... modes, is there? No. No. Damn it. Don't know of. But it is a demo, so you only get a fixed level, which look at that and go, and I don't want this. And you just fight creepy puppets, and then they, for some reason, they have. No, they're not blood, it's oil. And it's. Just kids. It makes no sense. I'm scratching my head and going, puppets don't have oil. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's well, just one of those weird it's things I'm one that I'm at. in, but I just, I don't know. It might be like a watch the watch Let's Plays on YouTube or watch all cutscenes or something like that because yeah. I'm, I'm definitely keen on what they're doing, but I... So I, I, I like I'm, it. I'm out. It's like, I like it. Yeah, I like it, but I'm just rubbish at that type of game where it's just patient and hit, not press every button on the controller and hope for the best. The opposite of Final Fantasy 16. But you could also tell it's probably made by an American company because the attack buttons are your right trigger and your the right triggers. Really? Yes. And it confused oh. the hell out of me because I'm used to it being your yeah, X and Y's or triangle, square. Wait, so sorry, formation. it was like, uh, like light attack is R1 and heavy is R2 or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, right. Bumper and trigger. Lies okay. B. And then... Oh, then, then I decided to play another Souls type game, and then it went back to you play it and go, "Yep, this is a Japanese type game." And that is, Wo Long Fallen. Oh yeah, okay. Because the end, I was getting confused as hell because I pressed the trigger buttons and they didn't work, and I died all the time. I was getting really annoyed by it. I thought stupid Japanese games with their X Y or triangle square button press, and same thing. Enjoy it. But I'm incredibly rubbish at it because I keep button mashing and pressing the wrong damn buttons like I used to do with Monster Hunter World oh, for many, yeah. many hours then to realise I can finally push the correct buttons and have fun. With with Monster Hunter World, not not well long. Yeah, yeah I mean, dies no, no, Monster Hunter World, there's lots of fun to be had there. Plenty of fun. But yeah, I played a little bit of that. I thought, do I want to play this again? Probably not. And that was maybe, the end of your maybe time with that was, the end, that end was of on that. Game Pass, though, right? You got it through Game Pass. Now, well, yeah, of course it was on Game Pass. I'm not paid. I'm not buying. I brought Dark Souls one to three for like thirty bucks that I've played. Bugger all of it. I think that was a silly you. purchase. Yeah, they broke me. And then I decided to buy Shakiro Shadows Die twice, and that was Shakira, just even more Shakira. silly. 
old Shakira. Now it's also a silly purchase that I haven't played since. Which I should. And enjoy it. That's what I'm going to do. Enjoy that game. When I get to it. And then we go on to the games I sort of have, or have been playing. And the first one is Luigi's Mansion 3. Yes. I finally decided, you know what? I'm going to go back and finish the game. Only to realize I didn't have that much left. Like it was an hour? Just really, really confusing bosses. I was up to the pool guy. And I just couldn't really figure out what to do. And it was right there in front of me. Just had to shoot stupid volley water polo balls at him. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. And I was just like, oh, that's, why did I, I know, think I of that, that before? Yeah. And then we got to the boss and, oh man, all I can say, the one thing I don't like about that game is the aiming when you have stuff in your vacuum cleaner. Because you think oh, when you... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's because oh, when you think you go like, oh yeah, I've got it, and then you shoot it, it just completely misses. You go, that's bullshit. I was thinking I'll... about various different systems in the in the second game because it got announced for Switch. Oh yeah, it did too. The other day, I was I was thinking about things you can do in that, but that's yeah, I was getting my games mixed up. So yeah, that that checks out. Yeah, so played that, finished it. I thought it was a good game, great game. We'll play again. One of the best. Don't get a play. One of the best. Who would have thought a man, a plumber's brother that no one cares about with a vacuum cleaner and a ghost dog would be so much fun. Speaking of which, I finally checked out the uh, Mario Brothers movie, the new one, yesterday. Oh, yeah? Sat and watched it with the kids at home. They got a little bit scared at points, which, like, it's... It was a Bowser. PG, it yeah. Bowser some, it, was some of the, it was definitely some of the Bowser stuff. Like, they... I mean, I guess because they do such a good job with the animation, like, it looks really... It does look, you know, there's lots of fire flying around and he gets pretty angry at times and so they got a little bit scared and like, oh, shit, okay. We'll just go and play over there because Dad's going to keep watching. I haven't seen this yet. <laughs> um, good movie, though. Really good movie. Safe. So what about the voices that everyone was very concerned about? Uh, uh, except for Jack Black. Chris Pratt. It was fine. He was great. So apart from Jack Black, has everyone heard Jack Black and thought, oh, yeah, that's, um, that's actually pretty good. When you hear Jack Black speak as Bowser. There was only... Like there was a, there was a couple times where Bowser breaks into song, like once kind of early in the movie, and then one near the end, and like oh yeah, like cool, They're, I can hear Jack doing Tenacious D there. That's fine, whatever, because you know they've probably allowed Jack to be Jack a little bit at that point. But in terms of his actual, you know, just Bowser the rest of the time, it'd be hard to know that it was Jack, and I'll, he did a great job. But I, I think all of them did actually. They they were all pretty awesome. So. Um, and yeah, the, I guess most of the criticism was, or like before the movie came out, was towards Chris Pratt, and I think he did a great job as Mario. So, so he was a good, great guy. He, he's a great guy. So the guy was right. He's a great guy. He was right. He wasn't lying. What a surprise! Miyamoto, good he's bloke. A great guy. He, he wasn't. Lie. He wasn't lying when he said Chris Pratt was a great guy, and then everyone just made jokes about Chris Pratt being. <laughs> and, Everything. He's like, oh, Chris Pratt's going to be this guy in Star Wars and all this. I thought, oh, this is this has got to end sometime. I did have a moment because like, the, the Nintendo Direct brought the announcement of Detective Pikachu 2 and I started thinking about the movie, or like the new, sorry, Detective Pikachu Returns, I think it is. The but, game, um, yes. But then starting to think about the fact that there's another movie on the way and I was like, oh, hang on, Chris Pratt's in that. But I realised that I got Chris Pratt and Ryan Reynolds mixed up because Ryan Reynolds he... is the one that plays. Yes. Yeah. As I say, that's never thought Deadpool anyone would get... Or... Yeah, get Chris Pratt and Ryan Reynolds big stuff. I, don't, I just hey. I don't follow film enough, so like it's just a bunch of generic white dudes. Oh, I say I say as someone who's a generic white white generic dude, white dude. Um, can't even pick another generic yeah. white dude. Oh well. Let alone the fact that in together. both those movies they're both like, it's their voice only. So, um, yeah. Anyway, that's that's a thing that I need to wrestle with and get get sorted out in my head. Because Chris Pratt is in Jurassic World. Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool, right? Correct. Yeah. Yes. That's, and Free Guy. That yeah. is also Ryan Reynolds. Good. We'll get there. Yes. yes. You got that correct. Well done. Ten points to you. <laughs> oh, oh. Even though... <laughs> yeah, go on. But, okay. The next game, the game that is also on PlayStation Plus, blah, whatever you whatever do, is uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales. Good. Have I played a little bit so far? But, oh man, it feels like a Spider-Man game, and it's great. Spider-Man's a good... I say, you don't have to convince me to buy two. I'm already on board with buying two. I don't really need convincing it to buy that, because it's just... If it's anything like Spider-Man games in the past, 
well, the Insomniac Spider-Man games, I should say. I'm not concerned whatsoever because it's just going to be. Well, there's a fly in there. No, it's just, it's I was just looking at Spider-Man. Bit, just a little statue. bit of light flickering over there. So we've had some power oh, issues today. So I'm just kind of keeping half an eye on things. But yeah, no, no I say Miles Wells, great game so far. Awesome. That's only going to get better, I reckon. Yeah, and um, uh, I'm definitely going to go back before Spider-Man 2 comes out because I want to get the platinum for it. And there was a whole bunch of trophies, story trophies that didn't ping when I played through the game the first time. It was it was real weird. I don't know don't know why because there's like like I've got the finish the game one, but then there's a bunch of like random story moments along the way that never pinged for some reason, which gives me the shits. So I'll I'll, ra- I'll collect all them up while I while I do the the new game plus playthrough and and get myself the platinum for it at some point. So because Miles Morales is awesome, um, arguably is. better than the original, and maybe better in part because it was shorter as well. I feel like the the brevity of it worked for it. So yeah, keen to get more. Yeah, and then my second last game that I played was a game that you've a series that you've never really played, but I've been Yakuza asked Persona. Yes, Kasu- <laughs> no, oh, Kazu- wasn't, wasn't Yaku- was Yakuza. No, Kazuza. Yakuza. Yakuza Zero. So the prequel to all the other stuff. And oh man, when I was saying about Ghost Trick having so much dialogue, this has. The cutscenes are so long. And like, this like, is how I knew the cutscenes. This is this how I knew the cutscenes were so long that I sat there for that long. Oh, you that, that my screen, that my control. No, it wasn't my control went to sleep. The, um, the screen went slow, like dimmed. Oh, yeah, Wait, right. Because you haven't done anything was, in a while. I haven't done anything. I was just sitting there waiting for a 20 minute cutscene to just, or, or 10 minute cutscene. I was thinking, oh man, this is going forever. <laughs> it's just, it's like, I just want to play the game. It's just, I, I know it's great and everything, but I, I, my eyes get sore when I have to read that much Japanese translation to English and try and figure out what the hell's going on. Yeah, when your eyes are bouncing back and forward because you're looking at the action yeah. but having to read the subtitles, it's. Because the thing with, I think, one to six is that it's only in Japanese, there's no English voice actor yeah. and it's just I, I, half the time I don't even pay attention because it, pretty much the story is pretty much the same give or take so you know what's going to happen just punch people up during it and just find some really weird weird things in sub stories that you just laugh at and go what the hell was How that how they come up with this yes typical typical Japanese type gaming and it's, yeah I... it's just it, it, all I can say is, if you ever do commit to it, it's gonna you're gonna be there for about five years trying to finish. But I know I'm all. gonna have a good time. That's the thing. Like I, I really. No, you said you played spent, yeah, uh, the second one when I was at Matt's for the for the play two marathon. I really enjoyed playing it, but it was just if I do this, it takes I, a lot of, I need to do the whole thing. Yeah, it takes a lot of commitment. I will admit that because when I first played, I thought oh, I really enjoyed this game. I thought, oh, how many more games are there? Let's see, there's like seven more. Thought, seven core oh, ones, and you've got zero. Then you've got if you want to really get into it, not the spin off ones. Not even, yeah, I wasn't even looking at the spin off ones. I was just looking at the main ones and then looking at going, oh man, that's a lot of gaming. And then we've got the one from earlier this year. We've got the uh, the man who, whatever, it's something to do with his name. Erased, the man who erased, erased his, his name, name later this year. Then you've got the eighth game next year. Like, it's just, it's insane. I don't know how C you're doing it. It's, yeah. or, it's ridiculous. It's one of those other questions, like, what what have they been doing this whole time? Just making Yakuza games and nothing else. Nothing else. And and just put a small team, make a shitty Sonic game just to make all those Sonic fans happy, and then everyone else, just go work on the Yakuza games because they're much better. Yeah, pretty much. It's it's resources well spent as far as I'm concerned. Now and then go make a playing. stupid costume for Monster Hunter Rise and put it oh, on your yeah. stupid cat. <laughs> yeah, right, I forgot about that. Oh man! Every time I think about that, it's like that's the first thing I see hear about Sonic is I just laugh and think about that. Was the Heart of Rise outfit? I thought that is the stupidest thing I've ever not that I've seen. Yeah, I was going to say it's probably other thing. And then my final game for this month, and this is a contender for this year for best game from another year. Oh, it is Ratchet and Clank Rifts Apart. Were you, playing that, were you playing that last month? I feel like we were talking about it. Yeah, we were talking yeah. about it. I just hadn't finished it at that point. And then play, continue playing it. I thought, oh, this is this game is great. It's just 
it's one of those games where something happens and then you just go, oh, I want to play more. Not like other games where you just get bored. It's like, oh, I well, don't want to play this anymore. Or I don't want to sit through a 20-minute cutscene and just watch the screen go dark because yeah. it's going for so long. Like Yakuza 0, but this. Brilliant. I haven't played them yet. I haven't gone back to it yet, but... Well, it's a, that's a pretty easy thing to do, so... But there's definitely already know that there's going to be another game. Yeah, I can't it. wait for it. Um, and I, I'm excited for it too. It's like, I can't wait. It's like, oh, we've got this to do. It's like, oh, second game coming. Whenever that is, I don't care. It's probably after 2025 at this rate, I reckon. Being that there is Spider-Man this year, Wolverine next year. Or they could just do a sneaky drop and just go, hey, here's Ratchet and Clank. Go, what the hell are you doing, Insomniac? The idea that they're working on like three games of that quality and that size is insane because they've got to be at least somewhere in development with ratchet so oh yeah it. but i think it's just more interesting i find it funny is like you look at ratchet and clank and then you look at spider-man it's just two completely different types of games you just go i have rare feelings with this it's just one developer just making crushing everything they do crushing everything they do like maybe they should make it um a first person shooter and see how that goes that was resistance oh well maybe they make another resistance game yes that'd be great i'd love i'd love that jim ryan i will take back everything i've ever said about you if you can make that happen i know you're too busy with the ftc right now but um <laughs> what again absolutely smoked by xbox with their yeah they're, they're putting up some pretty good arguments so um i'm curious to see what happens with the ftc because like jim i guess like he's just a talking head that they call in at some point but the FTC have got to make their arguments, and I feel like they're struggling. But we'll see what happens there. Oh, I think struggling is an under understatement. They're getting absolutely grilled. Yeah. Because it's clearly obvious that the FTC have absolutely no idea what a video game is, or our acquisition, as Phil Spencer did explain to them <laughs> what it is, and what they will do when Activision and Blizzard come over. They have to pay their salaries. Boom, roasted. Yeah. I. Good luck to them. Um, Activision is going to be part of Xbox soon enough. Any, anything else you wanted to discuss at all, games-wise? No, that's it. That's more my games for the month. Outside of going yeah. and platinuming Ratchet, what, what do you feel like is going to be on the docket for the coming month? Or Pikmin 4? Probably, probably, possibly, and uh, probably seen through more cutscenes of Yakuza 0 and right. Spider-Man finish off that off. But other than that, yeah, not really sure. Because like you said, it's going to be a very quiet month, just Pikmin 4 and nothing else, which is great. I can catch up on some games that I haven't yet got to yet, which yeah, is good. I think last month we discussed that Immortals of Avian was going to come out in July, but for anyone who's missed the memo on that one, um, that got it's actually got delayed, delayed out of out of July and into just into August. Uh, sorry. Yeah, into August. Um, so people can kind of look forward to that one now launching amongst the crush of other games that are coming out there. It was the perfect time for it, and then EA and the team have gone and delayed it, and so here we are. Yeah, not not a lot. Um, Pikmin, obviously, for me, Exo Primal I'll play, and I'm kind of a little bit curious in that Disney's Illusion Island, the one that um, is made by the team who did uh, Battletoads, the remake of Battle, or the reboot of Battletoads for Xbox the other year. So say that's two, that's a completely different, from Battletoads to Disney. Yeah, but it's still kind of using the same sort of, and like, yeah. It's, it, if you haven't seen it, it's definitely worth looking up anyway. Is it, but otherwise, it's a beat 'em up, a Disney beat 'em up. Is uh, it? I don't know. I, I don't know if no. it's quite that. It'll be more platform. Watching but... Goofy punch up. I don't know what enemies are in yeah. a broomstick. I don't know. Um, things in Fantasia. Oh, a broomstick. The, the, the more Fantasia stuff we do in in games, the better. But we'll see what happens there. Um. Beyond that, it's, yeah, Diablo, Park Beyond, Story of Seasons comes out. I'll jump onto all of those. Um, but, yeah, there's there's not a huge amount. I'm, I'm looking forward to July being a little bit quiet so I can deal with the Pikmins and stuff that I really, really want to play and then work through the backlog of other games that I also really, really want to play. Settle in before August, you know, explodes on us. So we'll see what happens. Any other thoughts at all? No, I know. It was just, it's just nice that for a month this year that we could just have a nice relaxing time and not try and crunch and get a game finished. You think, oh man, there's another one coming. That's not until September. For me, 
personally September, so I've got a two month waiting, so two month you're period. Right. You're doing real well then. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of just games I'm excited about. Just cut out all the rest. I don't want to know about them at all. Yes, Pikmin Four, but that's not going to be a long game because nah, I feel like being... probably ten to twelve hours maybe. Yes, yeah, so just the standard, and then Starfield will be God knows how long, probably yeah, two years. Yeah, that's gonna be life. Uh, life consuming and it's looking so good so we'll have to we'll have to see um well that that wraps things up then i guess uh if you enjoyed this episode of patch please be sure to like share and subscribe all the buttons down below hit the notification bell that way you're alerted to every new video the moment it goes live on the channel that includes patched play two plays like matto's uh lies of p demo that is already live for people to go check out um by the time this episode goes live i should say um and a whole bunch more Visit the website, player2.net.au, for reviews, previews, opinion pieces, news, features, links to the podcast series, Patch, the Player 2 Pixel Cast, and Dev Diary. We're on Patreon, patreon.com slash player2au, kicking a few bucks, lower tiers, early access, high tiers, monthly episode exclusives. And finally, there's Twitter, Matto. Matto underscore Phil. Paul James Games for myself. The website is player2au. My power has survived, which is great. We managed to get the episode done. And also, for the first time in a while, your picture has not gone to shit through the whole thing. So, uh... Looking Are we good, figured everyone it out. Really bask in that. Like we made sure. Oh the, man! So all the, the times I've had a beard, no one's been able. To no see one's it been able to see it. Shave it off. Yeah, the last two. No, three weeks that wasn't a beard. Rough. That wasn't a beard. That was just bad pixelation around my yeah. mouth. That really just <laughs> yeah. for some reason looked like. It was like actually a beard. your hair that was kind of getting morphed down here. But anyway, um, but yeah, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, enjoy some games. Go play Final Fantasy 16. It's awesome, and uh, we'll see you next week.